Welcome to Real Physics. This is just a short clip to highlight the relation between unifications and physical constants. Here's the textbook example. The elimination of a constant of nature by the equation c squared equals 1 over mu naught epsilon naught represents the unification of electrodynamics with optics. But also if you go back to Newton, who explained that 9.81 local gravity is related to a more general concept of gravity, the famous idea that the apple and the moon are attracted by the same force, is a unification of celestial and earthly dynamics. And it explained away the local g, if you want. We have the unification of thermodynamics and with the rest of physics, with mechanics, by the discovery that temperature is nothing but microscopic motion, highlighted by the fact that Boltzmann constant translates energy into temperature. You might say, no, this is not a constant of nature, but the fact that you can establish this constant, this equation, means that you have understood that temperature is motion. So a lot of things need to be understood in physics. One thing we haven't understood, we haven't unified, is quantum physics with electrodynamics. So don't believe in quantum electrodynamics. If we had understood, we would have calculated the fine structure constant containing the constants of electromagnetism, e squared over epsilon naught, and h at the same time. So this is something missing. Another important thing that is missing is the unification of gravity with optics. Once you discover, well, I would say, once you justify the relation of the gravitational constant with c squared and the universe, you have unified gravity with optics. If on the other hand, for example, you want to unify quantum mechanics in nuclear physics, you need to calculate 1836, which means the ratio of the proton and the electron mass. And keep in mind, Niels Bohr has always stressed that for a true understanding of nuclear physics, there would be a similar revolution required than quantum mechanics itself. So I would invite to think about more how these constants can be explained than this bold general talking about unifications at the very end you want to have a result. You want to explain these arbitrary numbers, these arbitrary constants of nature. I haven't mentioned some other coincidences that need to be explained. You find all this in more detail in my book The Mathematical Reality. But considering physical constants is the essence of unification and if you want to make progress, no bold mathematical structures, just down-to-earth elimination of constants. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it. And if you're interested in fundamental physics, subscribe to this channel.